Welcome back to Living 757. You know, Ashley, that our beauty is our 10 in these days, right? To talk about this, we're going to welcome Jimmy and Mary from Authentic Body Care. Jimmy and Mary, welcome to Living 757. Hi, nice Hello. to meet you guys. How are you guys? We're so excited to talk about this new company that you guys create. So how was the idea to create Jimmy and Mary's Authentic Body Care? And I know it started in your waiting day, right? Yeah, it did. Um, I'd always made um, whipped shea butter for myself because, you know, I was um, growing my hair out naturally and I just needed something that was that I knew what was in it. And so I just started making my own product. And when Jimmy proposed, he, you know, he gave me the idea, like, you know, maybe we should use your shea butter as a um, wedding favor. And so we made our gardenia scented uh, whipped shea butter for everybody for favors. And then when we were on our honeymoon, people started like Facebook um, messaging us about, you know, oh, we need more. My husband used all of mine. <laughs> and so we were just like, okay, well, maybe this is a business. Maybe we'll just give it out. And so we gave them <laughs> out. And then after a while, it was getting to the point where it was just like, okay, this is getting into our money. So we keep giving it out for free. <laughs> and so we started the business for it. We started selling it. I think it's a great idea to start with the family and friends, right? To exactly. see if they like it or not. Exactly. <laughs> for sure. So uh, we focus group. Uh -huh. so we have some of your products. First of all, thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> we are so excited to use them. And this, I'm obsessed with this scent. Uh, that's Adonis. That and means you like patchouli. <laughs> yes, I do. Okay, so you have to tell me how your process goes. Everything is vegan and cruelty free. Where do you make it? How like what's your process? We make it at the warehouse. Before we used to make it at the house a while ago, but then things started getting like bigger, so we had to move to a warehouse. You know, right off of Lynn Haven, and that's where I come in every day. It's my it's my special laboratory where I make my stuff. Let me tell you, the package is beautiful. Like a, You know what's so love... funny about the packaging is like, I've always told like my girls, I wanted it to look like growing up in New York, you'd go to the deli and you'd get yeah. like, you know, <laughs> you'd get like some cheese or whatever and you'd, they'd wrap it up. And I always liked the paper packaging. <laughs> like I was about bar. to say that. It looks like a chocolate bar. Look, this is so beautiful. <laughs> the way that it's coming, let me, and, and this is amazing. It Thank looks like you. a piece of chocolate, yes. And then no, it looks like you open it and you get, mm. <laughs> and it smells so good. Well, I actually, that's Ife soap bar that actually has cocoa powder in it. So oh, like, you know, okay. going into like, you know, all of this, I started realizing like a lot of the stuff in our pantry can be used mm -hmm. on your face and on your skin. And so like cocoa powder is an actual like humectant. So it brings moisture to the skin. So I put it in a lot of our soaps. Can't wait to try this. So, Jimmy, tell me a little bit about the products. Where can people purchase these products? Is what, um, what is your biggest sell? Social media, online? Yeah, mostly the website. That's our big focus right now. Um, just because of the you know changes in the market, you know, the brick and mortar and the pop ups aren't really a really really strong option right now, just because of all the the changes. So, um, we've focused a lot more on you know. Uh, bringing traffic to the website. We do still have some wholesalers, um, mm -hmm. Heritage Market in Virginia Beach, and then a few Whole Foods locations as well. So, yeah. um, so they're still um, they've adapted a little better than we have to the uh, to the brick and mortar approach. But yeah. Um, but yeah, as far as our own like main direct source, it's yeah. it's the website right mm -hmm. now. So, so we just saw a few pictures that include this which is a cauldron bath bomb That's right. i'm assuming this is a <laughs> seasonal product for spooky season right yep. yeah yeah i uh started that last year for our daughters ellen rosa and they love our bath bombs they're just kind of like you know they don't take baths unless it, there's a bath bomb and so what i started understanding was that on halloween these kiddos they'll eat all this candy and then when you try to get them down for bed and it's like really hard so i was like you know what I'm gonna make a bath bomb with a cold uh, in a cauldron little thingy and and um, put lavender and chamomile, so it can knock them out. Oh, <laughs> down. I'm right down after trick or treat. I'm gonna knock myself out too. <laughs> <laughs> now, what is your website, really quickly? Where can we find you? Uh, JimmyMarys.com 
or you can go on Instagram at Jimmy and Mary's. All of our handles are Jimmy and Mary's. Um, you can find us at Whole Foods at the Whole Foods at Short Pump and um, the Virginia Beach one as well. And I think Heritage, Heritage still yeah. carries. I don't think they carry our, you know, seasonal stuff, but the usual stuff they carry. Well, Amazing. Great well, thank you all so much for joining you. us. Thank you. Yeah, great products. We love you guys and keep Thanks working. So, yes. Thank you guys. Thanks for having yeah. us. Thank you.